In this example, we are going to calculate the capacitance of two long parallel wires. These two wires, they, are, they have the same size, means the same length and the same radius. And they are conducting materials. The charge will be plus a Q on this wire. And this wire it will have minus Q, the charge is lambda times the length of the wire and lambda is the density is uniform the definition of electric potential between point b and a we call it v b minus v a will be the integral from b to a e dl now uh, the, the displacement will be from b to a means this is the displacement. Now we need to find the direction of electric field because we need to know EDL will be EDL cosine of theta. So the di displacement is in that direction. If I calculate the electric field at this point, I call it X. At this point, I call it X. So what do we have? We have E from the negative charge will be going in that direction because it's toward the negative charge and the electric field from the positive charge also will be going in that direction. If the, the displacement is in the same direction as this electric field. That means this theta is zero and cosine of zero is one. The electric potential difference VB minus VA, it will just from B to A, EDL. So we need to find the electric field produced by each wire. The electric field produced by the negatively charged wire at the, this point, we call it X. From here to here, we call it X. It will be E is lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 x. The same thing, the electric field from positively charged wire, it will be, this I call it E minus, E plus, it will be lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0. Remember, we have the distance D, and this distance, it will be just the D minus x. So we don't want to put too many variables in our equation. We just work with x and d. That means this distance between this point and this point is just the distance of d minus x. Now, all we need to do is to find the electric potential between these two points, b and a. We said by definition, vb minus va will be the integral from b to a, e dl. We said... The displacement is in that direction, dl, and all the electric fields from the two wires will be facing also west. That means E dl will be just the integral from B to A, E dl. This is Vb minus V. So we just replace electric field inside here and we continue. We say the electric potential difference between B and A will be just the integral from B to A of lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 x plus lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 factor of D minus x and this times dx. We need to find the integrals. The integ Remember the charge is started from the surface of the of uh, the cable because the cable is conducting material and the charge is on the uh, the charge it will start at the surface we say the radius is r and the charge is at the surface that means the integration will be from the surface r to the, this point which is d minus r lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 x plus lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 factor of d minus x. Uh, this times dx. Now the integral of this 
it will be just lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0. Natural logarithm of x, and this x will be between d minus r and r. The same thing here will be lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 outside. Remember, and I have a negative here, it will be negative natural logarithm of d minus x between d minus r and r. We say v, vb minus va is lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 uh, times natural logarithm of x between d minus r and r minus this term. It will be just lambda lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 and this will be just ln of d minus r over r and here same thing it will be minus 1 over 2 pi epsilon 0 ln of which is natural logarithm of d minus in x in, this is x it will be just the d minus r replace x with d minus r and then downstairs it will be d minus r so d minus d minus r will be just plus r over d minus r now i have a negative sign in front this will be it will be flipped it will go this term will go upstairs and this one goes downstairs so what do we will have we keep this term like it is. It will be lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0. Log natural logarithm of d minus r over r plus 1 over 2 pi epsilon 0. Remember, this is lambda. Lambda times natural logarithm. We say d minus d minus r will be plus r but we have negative here it will be just the d minus r we move it upstairs and we put plus here and we bring this one downstairs so we have in common lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 we put them together lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 and then this and this one are identical means we have two of them huh it will be just 2 d minus r over r. So this 2 vanishes. It will be lambda over pi epsilon 0 ln of d minus r over r. Now we need to identify the capacitor. Okay, we said the d is very long compared to the radius of each wire so what that means we can neglect this term this will be just lambda over pi epsilon zero ln of d over r so this is the difference of potential between the two wires now we just identify the the capacitance we know the the length of the wire times the density is the total charge on the wire lambda it will be just q over l so if i replace lambda with q over the length of the wire then i have this okay so vb minus v now what will be we know difference of potential between the two wires times the capacitance by definition equals to the charge of the capacitor so what, what will be the capacitance in this case? We identify this. What we mean by this? It will be the capacitance will be just pi, the length of the wire, times pi times epsilon zero over natural logarithm of d over r. What do we see here? The capacitance depend only on the length and the distance between the two wires and the radius of each wire. Thank you.